Hello everyone, this is Oshuni Dashgupta from Chinta.com. Today, I want to talk to you about the geometry for the new IOKM contest. Of course, it is the first level of mathematical Olympiads in India. Now, there is some confusion because nowadays a lot of organizations are creating their own Olympiads. So, you have to be very careful about it. The real mathematical Olympiads of India they are organized by HBCSE. It's part of the Department of Atomic Energy of Indian government. And the first level of it is known as IOQM. Maybe you already know this, but I just wanted to put this out here one more time. Now, to be very clear, it is very different. This IOQM is very different from the previous year's first level. So earlier, the first level of real mathematical Olympiads in India used to be PRM, the Pre-Regional Mathematics Olympiad. So it, it, it was an objective type test where a lot of people actually participated, 60, 70,000 people participated. And it was kind of simple. It is close, it was closer to school level of mathematics. and if someone is preparing for the engineering ent entrances, let's say IITs and so on, they would have find, they found it quite easy to crack. And the next level was RMO. So that was Regional Mathematics Olympiad. There used to be six problems, subjective problems, where you used to write full length answers. This year, the IOQM has replaced both PRMO and RMO. So none of these two levels are there anymore. Instead, there is one contest called the IOQM. So we are expecting the IOQM to be harder than PRMO and a bit easier than RMO. So let me show you how. The question pattern is like this. There, The first section, it will have 10 questions. All of them are two pointers. We expect this to be similar to the old PRM. So if you have a good level of skill in school level mathematics, this part should be OK. The second section, the 12 questions of five points each, we expect them to be similar to American Mathematics Competition 10. If you have not seen this contest before, you can Google it. I have put a link in the description for the topic wise problem sets on AMC 10. You can use that as well. And some Olympiad level training is necessary for attending these 12 questions. So th these will be a little bit more difficult from the 10 two pointers. But the real competition is in the third section. So the third section has two questions and these are 10 pointers. We believe that these problems, these two problems will be the real differentiating factor. These will be closer to AMI or RMO. AMI is American Invitational Math Examination and RMO is of course Regional Math Olympiad that used to happen earlier that is not happening anymore. So these two questions will be closer to them in difficulty level. Of course, all of these answers, answered to these, all of these questions, these 24 questions are integer type. So you don't have to write a long form answer. But difficulty wise, the last two problems, we expect them to be closer to AME and RMO. And you will need a sustained long term game plan to actually be successful in these two problems. Now let's talk about geometry. So. You can check in the link in the description for the other parts of this series, which will contain number theory, combinatorics and algebra. All for IOQM 2022. So about geometry. Now, there are different parts of geometry that we will talk about. Triangle geometry, circle geometry. But first, let me tell you about the books and the problem sets that will be useful for this. So if you are in Chinta, that is, if you are a student of our IOQM 
Math Olympiad program, then of course use the long problem list for practice. If you do not have the long problem list, then you can ask it in your personalized WhatsApp group. Ask your admin to send out the long problem list to you. However, even if you are not in Chinta, you can always practice problems from AMC 10, the American Math Competition 10, AMI, American Invitational Mathematics Examination, RMO, that is Regional Math Olympiad, IOPM, there, there was one or two IOPMs before this, so you can use that, those problems, and SMO problems. SMO is Singapore Math Olympiad, it's a very good resource of problems. So keep some time of your day for just problem solving. Don't think that you have to first learn all the concepts and then solve problems. That's not how it works. The reason Chinta students are so successful over the years is because they have a focus on problem solving and they use those problems to actually understand the theorems and the theory behind these problems. That's the way to learn problems to concepts. So the first one is the challenges and thrills of pre-college mathematics, chapter three and four of it for geometry. And then there is another book, a fantastic book by Sharigan, a Russian author called Problems in Plain Geometry. You can find it in the internet, the PDF copy of it. Incidentally, Chinta is also hosting the Sharigan Geometrical Olympiad this year in India in collaboration with mathematicians from Moscow. So it, it is a fantastic opportunity for kids in India and for Chinta and everyone. So you can check the link in the description to learn more about Sharigan Geometrical Olympiads. All right, moving on. Uh, let's talk about different portions of geometry that will be useful for IOPM. Uh, first, let's talk about triangle geometry. So one type of problem that often comes are the area problems. So you have to find so-and-so area, let's say a portion of a square or a quadrilateral, and you have to use ratio of areas theorem. So that those problems are really common. You should really have a strong uh, strategy for them. The second type of problems that often comes, not directly, maybe indirectly, are the concurrency and collinearity level related issues. So you should have a strong concept of Shiva's theorem and Menelaus theorem. Of course, just by knowing the theorems is not enough. You have to know how to apply them to solve problems. Then comes the points in the triangle. So uh, in center, X center, farmer point, locate point, centroid, circumcenter, nine point center. These are some of the important points inside a triangle, sometimes outside a triangle. And um, a good idea about their existence and how you can deduce and prove theorems about them is very important. Now, I want to stress one point here that think about every geometry theorem as an exercise problem. Do not, this is very important, do not simply read the proofs of the theorems. It's quite useless. Try to prove the theorems on your own, if you can. And then of course the exercise problems become much easier because then you have a sort of a big picture idea about what's going on. Finally, there are certain techniques related to barycentric coordinates that sometimes make ratio and area related problems really easy. I've attached a link in the description. You can check some resources. So once we are done with triangular geometry, the next thing that is up the list is the circle geometry. It's very exciting. And of course, there is a lot of overlap between triangle geometry and circle geometry. For example, the points inside a triangle that I talked about, uh, like in center, circumcenter, of course, you have to know circle geometry to understand them. The first part of circle geometry is about inscribing and inscribing circles in triangles and quadrilaterals. Now, instead of just rote learning several theorems, you should look for big picture setups. So one setup or configuration that is really useful in the long run is the Meikl point configuration. And of course, cyclic quadrilaterals and their configurations are also very powerful tools for problem solving. 
complex numbers are another area which you can use it's not mandatory but you can use to simplify a lot of problem solving so things like rotation and dilation these are geometric transformations those can be handled really effectively using complex numbers and coordinate geometry so of course devote some time learning them to be skillful in them finally tangents and normals in a circle are very useful uh, in this context power of a point is a useful tool it is very very useful in fact i should stress it and you you can try problems from challenges and friends of pre college mathematics on power of a point uh, to have a really good uh, expertise in that power of a point tangents and normals are very deeply connected with advanced your ideas from geometric transformation such as inversion spiral similarity it's a rich area of geometry and uh, though you may not need all of that in iocm but moving forward to inmo or imo they might be very useful so yeah i mean both triangle geometry and circle geometry are intertwined so make sure to use both of them and look at the interplay of both of them so the bottom line is do not memorize theorems it's a very boring and ineffective practice what you can do instead is to try and prove those theorems as exercise problems sort of discover those theorems yourself discover the proofs at least there is no shortcut trust me in the long run you have to take the long way there is no short way a list of results a list of theorems cannot make you an olympiad grade problem solver uh, if you are in chinta first thing you do is you attend path a path a in the math olympiad iocu math olympiad program has three classes every week concept class homework class doubt clearing class make sure to attend all three of them path b which happens simultaneously has 5 days a week problem solving and one on one review sessions every month make sure to attend those as well more problems you are exposed to better you are off and finally do not memorize the theorems try and apply them and when you can't then see other people applying those theorems in the context of problems that's the only way to be a good problem solver in the long run otherwise you are wasting your time and really it's going nowhere thank you for watching the video i'll see you in the next time you can check the link in the description for more resources